like many young musicians at, at the time, I began my musical studies at a, at a very tender age. I was about, uh, I think, just before my fifth uh, birthday. I am not ready for this. I am not ready, am not ready for this. The no still, still playing. And tremorous in the white falling flakes. And in the language of almost utter simplicity. And I think that that, that was, more, it was rarely a two or three syllable word. And uh, I admire that immensely because that gives the composer chance. Given that, and as I say, the midlife crisis, you know, a new place, start all over again. And uh, now at 45, sunny California sounds a lot better than it did when I was a young, struggling composer. And how did it seem with the 20 year distance? I mean, had, it, had the intellectual life of the town picked up? Here? Not that I can discern, no. Van, how do you say it? Van, Van Ays. Van Ays. V-A-N, new word, N-U-Y-S, California, on Friday the 13th of May 1983. That notwithstanding, we shall proceed. Um, Mel, this is Vincent Plush in the left-hand channel, and Mel Powell, I hope, will appear on the right. This is a tape-recorded interview on December 11th, 1997, with Mel Powell at his home in Van Nuys. Am I saying that correctly? Van Nuys or, or Van Sherman Nuys. Oaks. Sherman yes. Oaks it is, isn't yes. it? Uh, California. Um, it is um, a continuation, in a way, of interviews that were done in 1983 Good. Uh, for the Gracious. Yale Oral History Project in American Music. Good morning, Mel. Good morning. It's wonderful to be here with you. I'm glad you're here. Long and overdue reunion. I must tell you very quickly that uh, Sherman Oaks is, the, is supposed to be sort of the Beverly Hills of the valley. question I was leading to was, yes. were you consciously using and continuing to use serialism oh. in this piece and in the next group of pieces that you wrote uh, in the mid-1980s? Mid well, I will, I, I will not fuss much about it, but I will point out, first of all, the answer would be no, if one defines serialism fairly strictly. At the same time, there's a complexity involved here, and that is that the techniques and processes and perhaps even mode of musical thought could not have been without Schoenberg and 12-tone thinking and serialism. And I, I became giddy. Uh, nervous, giddy, holding on to chair, trying to recreate that moment. Uh, the but uh, absolutely ravishing. It was the most beautiful, but insane, utterly insane. The only experience I had like that was somewhat later when I heard Piero Dunea. what I later came to know of as jazz. Mind you how, how sheltered this had been. He was the, the jazz buff sent out over the network. And he was constantly 
involved with it. I didn't know what the heck he was up to, but he was going to say, and he'd keep tugging my older brother and saying, this is marvelous, this is marvelous. And then, in fact, one day, persuaded his mother that the two of us, in family's view, were not dry beyond the years. I don't think we were, even had he lived long enough to join me at the age of 40 or 50, we would never have been sufficiently dry behind him to go downtown to Manhattan to the Paramount Theater to hear Benny Goodman's band. And then I was 13. And it was Lloyd, the younger brother, who tugged and got me down to hear that. Something No, I was born Melvin Epstein in New York. I took the name Powell, as a matter of fact, as a, uh, as a protection against a particularly virulent anti-Semitism that I ran into uh, at the moment I was drafted into the army. Captains would ask for autographed pictures, and so I liked it better than, uh, than cleaning out the latrines during the Epstein period. Uh, so uh, Miller came upon my name as a recent inductee or something, and he had organized some situation with the higher ups, with Eisenhower and everybody else, to have a crack uh, Air Force uh, orchestra with all the best of the musicians some more classical musicians, jazz musicians. So he then reached down from Washington, D.C. to this poor, hopeless guy running around with a rifle in Atlantic City being trained. The memory of my parents, they were very, mm. very encouraging about... So uh, you were you smitten by this first acquaintance with the Benny Goodman band? I was thoroughly dismantled. It was, again, it was like the L'Après Midi d'Enfant. It was the most... Astound! It possibly, possibly for the wrong reason. That is, there was a pianist playing with him then named Teddy Wilson. enjoy Good. talking to you. I, I knew that I would, and I wanted to thank you so much for your patience and answering all of my well, questions. Yeah. By the way, I have to congratulate you. You know, uh, it's not that I'm interviewed every day, but uh, I have been interviewed uh, many times, and they're really a chore. They really are a chore, because mm -hmm. uh, you almost feel the interviewer needs a remedial, <laughs> you know. To know what questions to ask, but well, oh, with you, this is a pleasure. Well, you know, thank you very we're much. We're talking about somebody who knows what's cooking. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for this project.